Hey there, it's Mayor. Welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to give you an apartment tour. So today I want to show you my apartment here in Chicago. Um, I finally, after living here for months and months, have put some of the finishing touches on this place. So I really wanted to show you. Um, it's been really weird to like actually have a place of my own after living on the road and um, being a digital nomad for so long, but I'm really happy with how the space turned out and it just feels really homey and it's been a nice place to be during all this COVID madness. So let's take a look. This is my entryway. Um, we've got some of my Broadway posters. This is from the Death West revival of Spring Awakening. And then this is my kind of catch-all hook. I keep Scout's dog leashes on here. And then I have my keys on here. I just got this little um, keychain from Gender Tag. They were nice enough to send me some gifts and um, yeah, to help me celebrate Pride, so that's exciting. And um, I usually put um, Scout's vest on here as well. And then I was hanging this in my closet for a while, but I just love this bag so much and I just felt like this door was all kind of plain anyways. So why not just put a functional hook here and then let my bag kind of be a piece of artwork and let everyone see it because I love it so much. So, yeah. so this is my bathroom. Um, I tried to keep it really like simple and minimal in here. I was really going for like a calm, serene spa vibe. Um, you know, I got the eucalyptus. Um, and my favorite part though is probably the tiles. Um, I'm just obsessed with the hexagon tiles. And um, I ended up also finding this shower curtain that if you look really closely also has like a little bit of like a hexagon detail. So I thought that like really tied the space together. And then this is actually like a really deep tub, <laughs> uh, which I showed in like the moving vlog. But um, you know, we love the accessibility of <laughs> the detachable shower head um, for when I'm sitting. Sometimes I sit on the ground here because um, I have pots if you're new here. <laughs> um, but then these are like, you know, the old fashioned kind of knobs, I guess. And um, that's because this whole building used to be a hotel like way back in the day. So it's been um, newly renovated, but there are still some like older details throughout the apartment complex so like even like the toilet I don't know if you, I don't know if that's interesting but um you know it's, it's like an older kind of toilet even <laughs> yeah so that's my bathroom Closet of my studio. 
Um, but it's so big, it's like a walk-in closet that I decided to, for space saving purposes, um, put my bed in here. So I've got my bed and uh, we've got the only storage and closet in the apartment here and all my stuff in there and I got a little bit more storage up here. Uh, if you're like, oh my god, where do you put all your clothes and shoes and stuff? My shoes are up there. Then I've got some books, got some herbs, and then I also have um, these little twinkly lights. I don't know if you can see them. Can you see them at all? Cute. <laughs> and then um, got some nice colorful bedding. We love the rainbow. Real talk, this throw blanket I bought because Scout kept getting paw prints all over the gray and white striped today. So that's why we have that, but I think it's cute. I think it works. And then I've got this little secondhand rug. <laughs> and I think that kind of helps separate the, um, the sleeping area from like the living area. got a, a stove, you know, standard kitchen stuff. We've got this fridge that's a little smaller than your average fridge, which I appreciate because it's about the same height as me. So it's a little easier for me to like see the top of, like on my tippy toes, I can actually see the top of the fridge. Um, and then this is <laughs> got a dishwasher, love that. And um, we've got a little bit of counter space, just a little, just a little, um, you know, got my fighting mix and we don't have any drawers, so we need a fire silverware in a jar, but I thrifted this cute little jar. So we got that going for us at least. Um, and if you want to see like everything that's in the cabinets and all that, I could do like a low waste kitchen tour or something like that. But I've got my secondhand uh, plates and stuff like that on top of the, uh, the fridge because as you can see, we don't have a ton of storage space. And then over here, I've got some like cute little magnets. table that I got secondhand um, on Facebook Marketplace. So are um, these awesome chairs and it's like probably one of my favorite pieces of furniture in the entire apartment. So um, moral of the story is don't sleep on Facebook Marketplace is the best. And then I got this couch secondhand as well as both of these pillows. Um, and then I kind of like half DIY this project. I, I put these garlands that I um, ordered from a Mexican artist off of Etsy. I can put the um, link to the Etsy shop in the description. And then I just hung them on this branch with some um, upcycled string that I got on a package. And then this is literally my 
my favorite ottoman I have ever owned. You can sit on it. You can put your feet up on it. It's got storage. I, you don't really need to look at what's in there. It's just Scout's really uh, disgusting dog toys, but they're away. And then I also, you know, use this as a stool because I'm so short. <laughs> so whenever I need to get up into here, it also doubles as a stool. <laughs> and then over here is probably my favorite part of the whole apartment. This is what I lovingly call my so bar cart. So um, if you're new here or um, if you haven't seen my video, um, I stopped drinking alcohol um, about a year ago. So um, I got this, I really wanted a bar cart, but obviously like I don't want to be drinking booze. So I decided to get a bar cart and fill it completely with alcohol free like drink options and just like have lots of fun drinks if people come over that are alcohol free and it like just makes me happy and brings me joy so yeah um this bar cart i believe is from crate and barrel originally but i got second hand off of facebook marketplace because facebook marketplace is the bomb.com then over here i've got scout's treat um container that someone gifted us and then over here, I got my miniature portable altar situation that I've taken with me even when I was like a digital nomad everywhere. And then this is my, uh, my desk. I originally thought I wasn't going to have a desk in this place, but after, especially with the pandemic, I was doing a lot of work on my computer at my like dining room kitchen table and um i was just finding that i just wasn't taking breaks i was eating while i was working and i just had no separation between break time eating time and work time so now i have my desk and those things are separate and i really like it um and then it also gave me a good place to park my wheelchair so I have a condition called POTS so obviously I'm okay to walk around a little bit here in my apartment but for long days whenever I'm working dancing I generally use my wheelchair so I have it and then without it having a place like the desk to be it would just kind of be sitting here and I just like didn't really like how it just like looked just like chilling in the middle of my apartment so I really love that it now just has a place kind of like away I guess yeah and then I painted this this is from uh, this is the poster from my one person musical dysfunction just fine what really started this whole YouTube channel and then this is from Etsy I can link in the description all of these Etsy shops and some of the items from small businesses and stuff. And then this um, is from a little um, shop here in Chicago. It's the Chicago Skyline. And then over here, I've got my music stand because I'm a singer and an actor and a dancer. You know, we do that musical theater thing sometimes together, sometimes separately, as I like to say. I love that this place came with a full length mirror because I don't know, I just, like to look at myself I guess I don't know um and then this is my tray table um I usually will like put like my coffee or tea on this table um while I'm working I just like to have next to my desk um but I also will like clear it off and I'll like bring it over here and put my laptop on it to like watch a movie on the couch or sometimes I'll put it next to my bed as like a nightstand if I want like water next to my bed or something like that. But yeah, that I believe is it. That's gonna wrap things up for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, definitely give this video a thumbs up and be sure to hit that little red button and subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos. I hope that you enjoyed this apartment tour. Let me know if it's convinced you to move to Chicago and I'll see you in my next video. All right, bye.